this is going so lots of random stuff to talk about today. Main topic of the video is going to be the My Digital Escape Tour, which I just went to uh, in Toronto on Sunday. First and foremost, I got some new hair extensions. Oh my god, I was in need of new extensions for a very, very long time, and actually I have kind of a story to tell you guys about these. Um, first off, these extensions are really, really amazing. Um, they are not the ones that I normally buy. Typically, I get them off a website called Mini House 888. I get them about like two months ago, and like at the time, I was thinking like, oh yeah, they'll totally be here like before the My Digital Escape tour thing that I was going to because I really wanted to have new extensions for that day. For some reason, they decided to take forever to get here. So I had to buy extensions from Sally's Beauty Supply, and they were a lot more expensive than I would like to spend on extensions. The extensions I bought were about $200. They were 18-inch extensions, and this is the box that they came in in case anyone is curious. I those, and then they're great. Like I love them. They are a lot thicker than the ones that I normally get. But at considering the rate that you go through extensions that they only last a couple of months it's kind of like uh, I didn't want to spend that much but yeah anyways I dyed these extensions with a mixture of uh, Manic Panic Ultraviolet and a little bit of um, Purple Rain by Arctic Fox so I mixed the two together and diluted it with a bunch of conditioner to get this color just in case if anyone's wondering so uh, moving on to the My Digital Escape Tour which was on Sunday in Toronto at the Hard Luck Bar Oh my god, I had such a good time and I went by myself. My mom came with me like on the trip to Toronto because we had to take like a the go bus there from where I live and everything. So she came with me to make sure I got there safely and all that because she's still concerned because I'm a little a little baby. We are walking to the venue and obviously there's a huge lineup of like all the people who have been waiting there. So a bunch of like teenagers and everything and I get really like intimidated and stuff. And I was just really hoping and praying to God that I would be able to find someone else who was there like alone to kind of like make friends with them. So we walked to the end of the line and then there's this really cute girl with like purple hair so I go up to her and I'm like oh my god I love your hair and she's like I love your hair too so like instantly like purple hair connections it was amazing and um, I asked her if she was there alone and she was so we started talking and making friends and we kind of made friends with the two people in front of us who were they had VIP tickets but we just had general admission so like right off the bat it was like boom I made friends so I don't have to be a loner so that was really really cool and they were all so sweet so that part was really cool and then um, we were outside we were waiting probably like a couple hours and it was like really cold outside and snowing and we were freezing our butts off and um, eventually they separated the line into like two uh, different sections they had like the VIP on one side and the general admission on the other side so me and uh, my friend Party Poison is her name on Instagram we'll put that in here as well um, we like went over to the general admission side this other girl who was on that side and she instantly liked my hair and makeup which was really cool and I was like oh my god are you here alone because if she was I was going to be like you can hang out with us but she was like no I have two other friends and they're at Subway right now so then her friends came back and now we were like a group of like five so I had like my friend Party Poison and now these three other girls and it was just like they were the people that we hung out with for the rest of the night. In addition to the, uh, the four friends that I made there was this other girl who was so sweet and like honestly one of the most confident people I've ever met and she was basically just going around the entire lineup and saying hi to everyone and just making everyone feel really happy and giving hugs and just being like super positive. At one point we went in like a huddle position to keep our hands warm and we started singing the high school musical theme song. It was just such like a nice happy time. To sum all of this up, I basically made about five friends at the show and their names were Stephanie, uh, Trinity, Natalie, Sasha, and Blue. I'm also going to put all their Instagrams right here on the screen now and also their links down in the description. So definitely go check out their Instagram and everything. They were all like such sweet, nice people. So yeah, obviously it was like really, really great making all those friends and stuff, but oh my freaking god, the actual show was just so surreal because my digital escape, oh my god, I love watching their YouTube videos. They have become like my favorite group of YouTubers ever, so seeing them like on the stage in front of me, it was like, oh my god, like this is not just a computer screen, they are actually right here. And they all did really, really amazing. But honestly, my favorite performer was actually Brian Stars, which is a little bit weird because, like, I mean, I do love all of them, like, pretty much equally, but, like, I didn't really think of Brian as, like, my favorite out of all of them. But he was just, like, he was really, really good, and I'm so proud of him for actually, like, getting into music. Unfortunately, um, not all the members were actually there, which is actually sort of disappointing. Um, not that I had a VIP ticket or anything, but it was still kind of like I really wanted to see them perform and just see them in general. And plus, if any opportunity came up to meet them, I, like, I wish that all of them could have been there. Basically Jordan, Alex, and Robbie, who isn't actually part of my digital escape, but he's kind of involved with them, they were not there. And yeah, it just kind of sucked because those are the three that I was actually like most looking forward to see. Especially Jordan because I have a little story to tell you guys. This, this was actually kind of a while ago now and I was really really hoping to meet Jordan Sweeto to ask him about this because ever since this happened I have been so like just curious to know why this happened. Basically back in July of last year, 
I followed Jordan Sweeto on Twitter, and within like five minutes of me following him, he sent me a direct message on Twitter, and he says, hey, you watch my YouTube videos. So, it looks like this. So he was almost like shocked, as if he knew me or something, which was like really weird, because it's like he's super famous, and it's like how... How could you possibly know me? So he messaged me at 2.17 p.m. and I replied one minute later and I, I was thinking that he replied because I was so quick to respond to him. And I was like, yeah, like I mainly watch your stuff on my digital escape. And I was like, is this even real? Like you're so famous, like what? And he never responded to me so I was just kind of really like thrown off and I was hoping just some way, somehow, even though I did not have a VIP ticket, that I could maybe meet him and show him this and be like, what is this? Like why? Why is this the thing? So yeah, that was sort of disappointing because, I mean, like, it would have been cool if he knew who I was, right? Like, fangirl moment. But yeah, anyways, that was basically my experience at the My Digital Escape show in Toronto. If any of you liked My Digital Escape or were on any of the tour dates for their My Digital Escape tour, basically just anything that's My Digital Escape related, leave me a comment down below. I freaking love them, and I'd love to know if you guys love them as well. Anyways, so I hope you guys have a really great day, and thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye, guys! Okay, so now we're in a bathroom in the bus station thing to go to Toronto, so... Train station. Train station thing. Yeah, creepy bathroom. Ah, yay! So much fun. Bye! Bye.